Hello gentlemen and female gentlemen. So I think it's high time that I told you guys my origin story. Yes, that's right, because like many other superheroes out there, I chose to become who I am today based on events in my past. When I was 10 years old, my primary school took my entire year group to one of those adventure park places for an entire week where you sort of, you abseil and you go go-karting and you get lost, but it's okay because you've got a broken compass and a map of the local tea rooms. I think in the US, those sorts of places are usually called summer camp, but I think our teachers thought it would be funnier if we went in February. Anyway, we all did have a fun week, but the one thing, the one thing I was really looking forward to was the zip wire. It stood on the top of this massive hill and it stretched right across the camp. It went through some forests, it went over a river, it even went over our little hut things. I thought it was awesome. My classmates weren't so convinced. And at the end of the week, when our turn for zip wire time finally came, they all cried. Miss, miss, I can't do it. It's too high. It's too fast. What if I fall off? What if we crash? I'm already getting into the harness at this point. But miss, but miss, it doesn't look safe. I'll get sick. I'll get dizzy. I supermaned. I supermaned all the way down. Then I climbed up the hill and I did it again. Only this time, I ran through the air in slow motion. And by my third trip down, I was swimming in midair and my class, through laughing fits, were queuing up at the top of the hill for their turn. About an hour or so later, no one was scared anymore. Everyone was having turns. Everyone was having fun. And soon our time was up and I was the last person to go. And terror struck me. There I was, on the edge of the world, strapped in a speeding harness of gravity-defying death. And finally it occurs to me, the one thing, the one thing I am most scared of in this entire world. I couldn't think of a single funny thing to do on the way down. So I just leapt and waited for inspiration to kick in. Maybe I could just be Superman again. No, because Timmy did that as well. I'll just swim backwards. Doesn't look good in a cradle harness. Do some ballet. It's not very obvious from a distance. You know what, forget it. I'm just going to sulk. And that's what I did. I had a bit of a tantrum and then I sulked for the rest of the way down. And when I got to the end of the ride, I just kind of dangled there for about half a minute which would have been fine if the whole ride hadn't actually only lasted about 12 seconds. Here's what my classmates and my teachers saw. They saw a 10 year old girl have a fit on a zip wire and die. And I found the whole thing incredibly funny. So that folks is my origin story because if I were a superhero, my power would be comedy. Power caused not by radiation or excessive training or, you know, being a demigod, but by a zip wire. It's not very unique. In fact, it's very underwhelming. And I can't say it's especially helpful on a global scale. But I flew that day and every day since, because even though I don't know what I want to do with my life, I know that at the very least, I want to make other people laugh. Sometimes even at the expense of myself. And as we know, with great power comes great responsibility. Scarf Demon out. Hey guys, me again. So did you know that I also have a second channel? Well, you do now, and here's what it looks like. to save the children now for more weekly videos and vlog for good. <laughs>